Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Sprint. Since you have landed on this video, I believe you are preparing for some of the TCP certification and aspiring to book the exam. I have prepared a set of videos which will help you to learn GCP end to end. So don't forget to check them out, subscribe to the channel. Coming back to the topic, to book the exam, first of all, you need to open the website which is webassistor.com, branding is Google Cloud. I'll put the link in the description. Once you come here, you just need to register yourself. Okay, if you don't have an account, you need to click here. You need to have to create the test taker account. A simple form, once you fill the simple form, you'll get an email. On over, over that email, you will have your login details. Since I have already created that account, I'm directly going to log in. Once you click on login, it will take you to the home page. On this home page, you get this button, register for an exam. You can check receipts, you can check assessments. So this is your home page. When you join the website and log in, this is the first page where you need to click, which is register for an exam. Once you click on register for an exam, it will take you to this page. So Google Cloud mainly has two types of exams. One is Google Cloud certification exams and one is pilot and beta exams. Generally, we go for the certification exams. So in this video, we will try to book Google Cloud Certified Cloud Digital Leader in English. Once you click in here, it will show you that what are the, if there is any prerequisite, okay, if what are the retake chances, you can, you need to be 18 year plus older to take this exam. Retake policy says you can retake this exam three times. There are two type of exam. One is on-site, second is remote. So on-site is when you go to that, go to an exam center, you appear over there. Remote is you can take it from uh, your home with your home phone comfort with somebody watching you over the your webcam. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead with uh, go ahead with on-site. So I'm confident that I'm gonna take this in English. Uh, on-site, I'll click on buy now. Once you click on buy now, the next place it comes is you have to you have to choose the center, which center you want to go. So depending on the which country you are from, suppose I'm from India and I want to I want to book somewhere in Delhi. So I'll select the city. I'll select the city, I'll say search. So you can just choose whatever center suits you. So in this case, suppose this is one of the center which is, or maybe if I want to check something else, I'll click here. I'll change the city and check again. So these two, one is, uh, Maybe this is the nearest to me, so I'll just click in here and say select. The next page is around selecting the time. On this calendar, I can select the date or the time. So say I want to take this exam on 21st of April. It will it will give me all the dates which is available because it, it, it might be already booked. So I say that, okay, I'm comfortable with 11 a.m. 21st of April, 11th. Come um, down, you have to acknowledge it, click on select. So I have made all the choices, which exam I want to take, what is the schedule, which, what is the location, how much is the price. If you have any voucher code, maybe your company can give you, or you may get some from Google, if you've done some course, which Google keeps running promotions. All right, so you can put it here, apply. If you have any coupon, otherwise you can simply click on checkout. So total price what we have to pay is $70. Once you click on checkout, it will come to the payment page. Here, you just have to put in your credit card details, your CVV number, your expiration date, and just submit it. Once you submit it, it will generate an email for you, which will look like this. You will get an email from donutreply at webassessor.com which will look like this, that what is your exam name, when you have booked it, okay, what will, how it will be, how it will be taken, any, all the exam checklist, how you should do what, okay. So you'll get a purchase confirmed, and testing requirement, policies, everything, in all the details are already in this email. So this email basically confirms that your purchase was confirmed. Once your purchase is confirmed, how you go ahead and take the exam. So in my case, I have already booked cloud architect exam, Okay, so, so suppose I have to appear for this exam now. 
So 15 minutes earlier, I'll log in in this console. Okay, I'll log in in here. I'll click on my assessment. After logging in, I'll click on my assessment. Once you click on my assessment, you can see all the exams which you have completed and the scheduled ones. Okay, in my case, I have booked it for 24th of June. And once the time, the time is 24th June 9 uh, a morning, it comes, I this button will get activated and, and I can click on launch. And then, of course, after that, uh, they take over. After that, the testing window will open and you cannot go anywhere. You have to uh, either you pass or fail, then only you come out of that. You need to install this new secure, secure browser now to appear for the exam. You need to create your biometric profile uh, to avoid any hiccups during the exam. Once you complete the exam, it takes approx 7 to 10 days to validate your exam and then Google generates the certificate. Let me show you, once you clear the exam, what kind of email you'll get. Once you pass, you will get an email from Google Cloud Certification Support at google.com. And this has all your details, like what is the candidate ID, when did you appear, uh, till what time the certification will be, you can click and claim your certificate. That's the simple process you just need to do. We registered, we paid, we gave exam, and uh, we got certificate. That's the easiest process you can do either from your home, comfort of your home, or you can do it from some of the setup. Okay, that's all about this video. Hope you like it.